Okay, we're going to do another reading of, or another episode, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, of Is This Your Story? That's what we're doing today. So we're just going to, we're just going to jump right into it because I want to keep this reading short and sweet. So um, I'm going to be using Oceanic Tarot to start out with. And then we'll go on to draw some from the Love Oracle. I will get <clears throat> um, some mermaid messages from my deck that I created with the beautiful and talented um, Ka I can't talk. Kimmer Kiss Cosmic Queen. And then I will do your spirit message. All right. So we're going to figure out if this is your story. And if this is your story and if it resonates with you, feel free to comment down below. Oh, let me clear your space real quick. One second. Okay. Just had to use my little bell to clear your space. All right. All right. Um, thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages. Whose story am I going to pick on today? Pick, pick on. <laughs> Who am I going to pick on? All right. Let me turn on my light so you guys can see the cards. Um, whose story are we going to pick up today, Spirit? Whose story we got today? And the more you guys comment and, you know, even subscribing, um, you know, that's the energy. Pick up, um, which allows me to, you know, it's a form of energy exchange. And so, therefore, we are more likely to pick up on your energy, the collective field energy. If you've ever interacted with me at all on here, then I guarantee I've picked up your story once or multiple times. Wow, the king of the ocean, he came out in reverse. <clears throat> I think that's the emperor in reverse. I believe so, order. So, and he flew out. So, somebody is not being very... <laughs> so the emperor rules with fairness and a strong hands and you know he rules with um fairness and equality and someone is not doing that they're doing things that are not um considered fair things that are unjust now this could be you feeling like this like Let's pull some more cards to see. But it feels like, you know, someone is feeling like... Like life has been a little bit unfair to them lately. Maybe you feel like you've had a hard time with stuff. This card wanted to come out, but it didn't. Yeah, see, look, Five of Swords conflict. So someone is feeling like, you know, conflicting energies, conflicting feelings they feel there's a lot of background noise i'm sorry my kids are being so loud you guys apologies one second hold on i'm gonna go one second okay you guys i'm sorry about that i, I swear i feel like there's never a, a good time for me to work because there's always something speaking of conflict all right but i'm gonna keep going i'm not gonna give up all right so um, you know, I'm one tough bitch. So, all right. So it feels like someone is having some inner conflict. They're feeling like there's, it's this weird victimized feeling almost of like feeling like the world's against them. They're going through, you know, they haven't had it easy, but here's the thing. Most, most old souls will choose to reincarnate in a life, which is considered tough or more tough than normal people's um existence and life because they know it is you know the fastest path to ascension and enlightenment and there's nothing wrong with that and so if you're feeling like life has been a bit tough on you it's it's all for your good for your highest good Knight of Wands. So if you're feeling stuck, there is going to be some forward movement. I just don't know how quickly it's going to come in. 
Knight of Wands is showing some type of change. Some forward movement. The card literally says activity. Can we get some more cards, please, Spirit? Whoa, we got two. Wow, we got Knight of Wands and Page of Wands came out back to back. And Queen of Cups, sensitivity. They are still being so loud. I swear, I told them to calm down and they just don't know how to be quiet, guys. I'm so sorry. They shouldn't even be awake right now. They should be asleep. They don't ever sleep, I'm telling you. Five of Cups, sadness. Wow, this story is very sad right now. We got stability in reverse. So this could be a job loss, some kind of major financial setback, job loss, house loss, um, a feeling like literally everything that you have that's stable is being ripped out from underneath you, your, your, your whole foundation being sort of ripped from beneath you. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to tell my children to quiet down. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands activity. It came out with the Page of Wands. So if you are trying to make up your mind whether or not to make this move or to make those travel plans, the Page of Wands is telling you that it is the right time. Whatever it is you've been putting your creative efforts into, whether it's writing, whether it's music, whether it's painting, creating, dancing, I don't know, whatever it is that you do artistically, that sets your soul on fire. That is um, what's moving these plans forward. So if you've had any questions about whether or not you should make a move or make those travel plans, this card right here, Page of Wands, says it's a perfect time to do it, okay? Um, the Knight of Wands shows me that you've been thinking about these plans and moving forward, um, whether it's traveling, creating, um, moving house and we got strength or yeah it's strength which it's in this card it's it's stability see it says stability and it came out in reverse so the reason that you're having all this conflict around your work environment or whatever you do for work for some of you it's going to be like what you do like your independent business but there's a reason that all of that didn't work out Okay, it's because that path was not meant for you. You were meant to have this um, uprooting of your stability, your whether that be your job or your home. You know, some of you have literally lost a home and it's because it took that uprooting for you to find where you're meant to be, okay? Hi, I'm back. <laughs> so many interruptions, I'm so sorry. All right, life with kids, let me tell you. Oh, it can be exhausting, especially when you're the main nurture caregiver. Like, as you guys know, I live with their dad. We are divorced and we basically are on opposite schedules. Like he works, he comes home, he sleeps. I'm awake when he's asleep and I'm the, the main caregiver with the kids. And, you know, when he's home, we, we don't interact like we interact just to co-parent, but he's pretty much asleep like all the time. So, um, you know, it's just me and the kids most, most of the day. And we, you know, we live separate lives. I sleep in this room. He sleeps in his room. So I sleep in here with the kids. And so this is, you know, it's me. <laughs> it's mom. Like I am their main caregiver. So, all right. So back to the reading. So there's a reason all of these things didn't work out. You know, I, I understand with the Five of Cups, there was some sadness there. Um, now this could be, the, so the Five of Cups came out, it, it, they came out in this order. So it came out with the Queen of Cups. So there's the Queen of Cups, which is like, represents some kind of divine feminine energy. And then we had the Five of Cups, and then it came out with, strength in the reverse or stability in the reverse so 
there's this feeling of maybe there was something in regards to a divine feminine that didn't quite go as planned okay um somehow and you know it's funny because you know i know that it the strength the sensibility and it's in reverse so you know it feels very much like a, a an uprooting somehow maybe a loss of a home loss of a job but it also feels like this whoever this divine feminine is that that was in your life like there was this weird, strange um, feeling where you felt almost like she made you weak, if that makes sense. Like you felt very powerless with her and like not in a bad way, but almost like, I don't know, like like this feeling of feeling like weak in the knees, you know, like um, just completely enamored with someone, okay? But then, you know, there was some kind of sadness. So obviously, you know, it feels like this reading really might be for a divine masculine. And if that's the case, I don't know what the reason was for this sadness, but something happened that obviously was, you know, unplanned in regards to divine feminine. So we're going to pull some more cards and see if we can shed some light on the situation. All right. And can we get some more cards of this story, please? And then we're going to go on to the Love Oracle. Can we get three more cards in regards to this situation, please? You know, I'm going to put these cards back right now and see if any of them come out again. Because repeating energies are very important, you know this. So, oh my god. I cannot with myself today. It's been a long day. I got up super early and went out and applied for a second job. So, all right, let's see. Because as much as I would love to say my tarot is paying my bills, it is not. All right. I'm going to be real with y'all. All right, what else do we got? We have Eight of Wands, Travel. I told you. So some of you are going to be doing some traveling really soon. Some of you are going to be moving home. Those are my predictions for you. And very quickly, too. What else we got? Damn it, this damn card. Look at what the hell just happened to this card. There's the energy for you. Crock of shit. <laughs> fucking shit if you are under 18 please do not watch me i cuss like a sailor especially when i'm irritated and it has been a very irritating day all right so we have hope so i see that some of you have not given up hope on this connection with this divine feminine what else do we got spirit i don't ever use this deck too so i feel very disconnected right now wow so it's really good that you didn't give up hope because we have three of cups reunion now, for some of you, you know, Three of Cups for me always means, like, um, a third-party situation. So, you know, maybe this person was involved with someone else. And we have the High Priest in reverse. Wisdom. The High Priest. What is that? Oh, that's the Emperor. So, what was that other card we pulled? Remember the other card? I have to check. Hold on. Okay, so I had to go back and look at the cards because I remember we got this card right in reverse. So I thought that this was this. Okay, so this is a high priest and it's I thought it was the emperor, but then I was confused because I was like, I know that this is the emperor in this deck and you know, the emperor in right side up represent oh my gosh hold on oh my god i'm so sorry there's so much interruptions right now i'm getting really frustrated but i'm going to continue with this reading because because i, I just am i'm gonna plow through it like this is my calling this is what i want to do i don't give a fuck how many fucking interruptions this reading is getting done okay because what kind of a fucking fool would I be if I just gave up on my dreams just because there's some fucking interruptions? And let this be a... You know what? 
let this be a, a message to someone. If you feel like you keep getting interrupted, your dreams are on hold or whatever, it doesn't matter. Plow the fuck through it. Put on your big boy or big girl pants and get it done, okay? Because dreams don't sit there by the wayside and they don't fulfill themselves. You have to put energy and love and faith into what you believe in and your dreams. And that's what the fuck I'm doing. And I'm not going to let anything stop me anymore. Okay. Not even kids. So that being said, that message had to come out. God damn it. All right. So we have the, um, the emperor and it came out in reverse. So when it's right side up, it represents order. So if it's, if it's in reverse, it represents chaos. And we also have the high priest, which is the hierophant, right? So it means wisdom. Okay. But or in this deck, it says wisdom, but we know that the hero front represents like traditional values, um, you know, sort of conservatism and, you know, it's, it's basically like, it's almost like the same card as sort of as the emperor. It represents order, values, things like that. So when it's in the reverse, it's like having belief systems that are a little bit, you know, rebellious, kind of wacky. And again, it's like, it basically means chaos when it's upside down. It's untraditional values. So we have two cards here of chaos. Okay. Um, you know, cause the high, the, the high priest, you know, or the hierophant sort of represents like traditional values and structure and in the reverse, it's literally the opposite of that. It's chaos and unstructured values and stuff like that. So someone is going through a dark night of the soul right now. This divine masculine. Now, things are looking well on the forefront in regards to this connection with your divine feminine. We have the star, which represents hope. So a spirit is saying, don't quite give up on, on that connection. There may have been a third party which was interfering in your guys' connection. This is, you know, the card of third party energy. So, you know, either you or her or had someone else involved. Now, I'm not saying that they were cheating, but it could mean that, you know, they were coming out of a past relationship. You were coming out of a past relationship. But this card also says reunion on this one. So, you know, it, it feels very much like there's going to be a period where if you don't give up on this connection, you guys will make your way back towards each other. Okay. Um, but I don't know. So the next card that came out after the three of cups was seven of swords, which represents loss. So I guess it could go either way. I'm going to, we have two cards of chaos. So I'm going to pull one more card about this. Divine Feminine Energy and find out the outcome. What is the outcome with this Divine Feminine Energy? Because we have Reunion and then we have Loss. So it's very conflicting energies and I want to just narrow it down. What is the outcome with this Divine Feminine Energy right here? Six of Pentacles, Generosity. So there has to be more balance. There has to be more give and take. Um, if this relationship is going to go any further. Okay. So, cause we have literally two different paths. It could go in the way of a reunion or it can go to loss. And I think the defining factor is going to be whether or not you feel like you're giving more to this divine feminine than she's given to you or whether or not this relationship or connection feels balanced in your eyes okay because that's all that matters um and i don't necessarily like this this three of cups so we're gonna pull on that tell me more about the three of cups please spirit can you help me to understand and you have more clarity about this three of cups is this a third party energy it says reunion is it a reunion or is it a third party energy can we please get some clarity for this beautiful soul that i'm reading for they threw two cards out Okay, so we have three of wands, motivation, and gossip in the reverse. Wow. Okay, so again with the three of wands, again, so this feels very much like third party energy. Again, 
I'm going to look this up though. Um, to me, it feels again, like any type of three comes out. It, it feels, especially in a love reading, it's, it's usually third party energy and it came, it came out again, dude. Okay. So we got gossip in the reverse. So it feels like instead of gossiping, because if it was upright, it would be gossiping, obviously, but it came out in the reverse. So it feels like there's some kind of something that needs to be said that is being held back. It's not being said and it should have been said. Three of Wands. Oh, it says the Three of Wands brings energy and enthusiasm to all your activities and in love produce a new relationship and celebrations such as weddings and engagements. So it's looking towards the reunion. This also says travel right here. So again, traveling. Feels like some of you are going to be traveling or moving really soon. It also says finding a way to get your message across. So, um... Try new ways to fire your communication and creativity. Relationships, weddings, success. Okay, so if what you want is a reunion with this divine feminine, then I see it coming with this three of wands. Now, this also could mean a new relationship. So, because we did get the loss card. So, um, if you want to keep this connection going with the divine, this divine feminine, I would suggest looking at the give and take and the balance in this relationship. Now, if it's working out for you, you feel like you're giving and she's giving and it's sort of reciprocated energy, then I would say stick with it. If, you know, for some reason, you feel like you're giving more and she's not giving enough or she's giving too much and you feel, you know, like you are not giving enough and it just feels unbalanced in some way, then... You know, I would say it's leaning more towards the loss and a new relationship. So either way, there's, I see with this card, there's definitely a lack of communication, something that needs to be, um, come to light. Something needs to be communicated to either to you or to this divine feminine. Somebody is not being completely truthful with their feelings, point blank, period. With that, we're going to end that section of the reading. I don't really know how much we can um, beat this dead horse with that. All right. Um, we're going to pull some love oracle. And we'll get a love message from the mermaid deck and your spirit message and be done. All right. Can we get two cards from the love oracle about this connection, please? Can we get... Two cards from the Love Oracle Love this Connection, please. Two cards. Thank you, Spirit. They fucking dragging me tonight, let me tell you. These cards are not shuffling for shit. <laughs> like, annoyed. Let me get a little bit closer, so. It's that way it's not hard for me to shuffle. And y'all, I don't have any makeup on because I just got my eyebrows redone. So don't mind them. If you see a little bit of flaking up here, you know, I got them refilled in because, you know, my eyebrows are tattooed on. So I got them redone. So you cannot wear makeup for seven days. So this is my natural beauty, bitches. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, but I'm serious. So. All right, so we have truth. I told you. Something needs to come out. There needs to be truth. That card flew the fuck out. Truth. Truth. Somebody needs to tell the truth. Somebody's lying about something. I don't know who's lying, whether it's a divine feminine or the divine masculine, but somebody needs to come clean. Um, look, we got mystery. She's holding a damn pumpkin. <laughs> so there's a very witchy, scorpionic energy coming from this. Your divine feminine could be a witch. She could be a Scorpio. We're coming also into Scorpio season, which believe me, if you haven't told the truth about something, it's going to come out anyways. Look, it's even got the damn pumpkin. You know, we're right in that season. 
end of Libra season, fall, going into Scorpio season, and Scorpio season is going to bring all those dark, shadowy secrets into the light. So I would suggest um, letting whatever it is, to just letting it come out, because it's going to come out anyways. Um, and I don't know, there's something about this mystery so I don't know, maybe, maybe it could be that your divine feminine is, is being very sort of stoic and mysterious and not really opening up. And if that's the case, she's probably just a Scorpio, <laughs> honestly. All right. So we're going to do, I don't know, take it out. It resonates. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a message from your person with the mermaid deck. What in the deuce, Bigelow? <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. It's been a long mother effing day. I'm trying to keep it PG. All right. What is the love message for this divine masculine, whoever it is that I'm reading for? What is the message from this person? And if you want to purchase this deck, it's um, the link is always below. It's the link for my Etsy shop, okay? We have, I'm afraid of your pure love. Somebody is in this damn fear. Somebody is in this damn fear energy. Why are you in this fear energy? What is going on? Why are you fearful? And you know, the last reading I did of, of is this your story? It was someone was in fear too. It was divine masculine in fear. You need to get over it. You need to put your big boy pants on. All right. So we have, I'm afraid of your pure love. And we have let's grow together. So either you or your person is thinking about the future, the long-term future, growing together. And so this fear needs to get the hell out of the dynamic. And look at this. I feel it giving up on you. So if this is you, Divine Masculine, and you are in this fear energy, it's time to let it go because your divine feminine is feeling like giving up on you. And if this is your energy, you have bewitched me, you feel completely bewitched by this divine feminine, then it's time to let her know that <clears throat> somebody needs to man up or woman up or whatever because there was definitely some hidden feelings or some kind of conflict that was not addressed and... You know, nobody's going to grow from hiding um, stuff. It takes a really strong person to show vulnerability and gentleness and openness into where your heart and your sleeve. All right, let's get the final spirit message for this person that I'm reading for. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel. Whoa, that came out quick. We have Lady Venus. It just flipped right over. Lady Venus downloads an understanding. Truth is being revealed. Again, we have truth. I am done with this reading. Get out of my house. We are done. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been a really long time since I've said my catchphrase, which is, I'm done with you. Get the hell out of my house. You need to get out of my house because we are done. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and from the astral realm. Okay. So again, we got truth. There was truth with the sword. Let me see if I can find it. Bam. Bam. You cannot make it up. If you think I am not good at my job, time to rethink. I know what I'm doing, people. If you purchase the reading from me, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. This is confirmation. Spirit is saying, I am good at my job. Spirit is telling you that I am good at my job. Look at this. This is proof that I can predict things that are going to happen in a certain form and fashion two cards okay about truth like i said something has not been revealed it's going to come to light in scorpio season whether or not you're ready whether or not you let it out somehow it's going to be revealed with or without your permission because that is what is going to happen okay so if i were you i would try to work with this beautiful venetian energy miss lady venus okay which, by the way, she's I worked with her um, a, a hell of a lot last year. This reading's getting really long, so we're going to wrap it up. But she will give you the clarity, the downloads, the understanding, and the answers 
that you seek, but she's going to get them from you. You are going to go within and meditate and find the answers by connecting with Lady Venus. Ask and you shall receive. So let her know that you're looking for clarity and for those answers and the answer will be revealed one way or another, okay? You are your greatest guru and your greatest guide. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope that it helped. Mwah. I love you, bunnies.